So, Harry, you think you can teach an old dog new tricks, do you? <laughs> Come on, Granny, cheer us on a bit at least. He's your dog after all. <laughs> there we go. Now check out this trick I taught him. We're still working on that one. <laughs> That's enough of that now, baby. <laughs> What's wrong, Pepe? Pepe! That's not like you! Hey! Pepe! Come back! Whoa! What's that all about? Huh? Harry! Go get him! I don't want him to get lost! Should have taught him to stay. <laughs> Looks like your granny isn't the only one who lost their dog. Yeah, I hope this helps. Beautiful until the end. I didn't know you could play the lyre, Teresa. Uh, yeah. Not too many people can play it so well. Wait until I tell the. Oh, don't tell anyone, okay? Why not? Please, Apollo. The guys will never let me live it down. I mean, come on. There's nothing more lame than playing the lyre. <clears throat> I play the lyre. <gasps> oh. Uh, but you're a. Well, a god. How you guys play the lyre? In fact, that's my liar. Oh, sorry. Hey, I need a few things. You want to go shopping? Always. <laughs> See you later. A liar? <laughs> that's so lame. Come on, Apollo, get with the times. What's wrong with the liar? It's beautiful. <laughs> What's wrong with it? Whatever it is, it's contagious. <laughs> Easy, boy. Hey, what are you kids doing back here? Pepe? <laughs> what happened to you? Yeah, we don't know what it is. I'm afraid we're gonna have to put him in quarantine. Wait! We can't let these dogs out until we know what's causing this. Maybe there's a radiation leak or something causing the problem. No, like I said, it's like he smelled something and just ran off into the woods. Or maybe it's just this place that makes me think of toxic waste. Uh, hey, guys. All set. All set for what? What's up? Come on, I'll tell you on the way. The way where? We'll meet you back at the dog pound after we get the girls. We're taking girls to a dog pound? How romantic. Easy, Pepe. Jeez, that's Pepe? 
The hair ribbon really softens his look. Do you think Cronus has anything to do with this? I thought about it too. I don't know. It seems too small time for him. The tracking device is all ready. Let's see where he goes. Let's hope he leads us to the source of the problem. Something is sending these dogs' hormones into overdrive. If we can find out what it is, maybe then we can reverse the effect. We're getting close. Turn that off now. Nice, doggy. I'm your friend. <laughs> no, you're a squeaky toy to him. My mother tells me to carry a change of underwear. Oh. Whoa, three heads aren't enough? It has to have a snake for a tail? I could use a little help here, guys. Just not fair. We better get out of here. You heard the man, let's bolt. Good plan. It's just not funny. Oh, over here. Too close, if you ask me. Dogs are a man's best friend. Yeah, right. Oh, I got enough friends already. Thanks anyway. Come on, let's get out of here. Ah, here it is. Cerberus, the three-headed canine that stands guard at the gate of the underworld. He permits all souls to enter, but none to return. You forgot about the snake, Chiron. Three heads and a huge snake for a tail. Oh, indeed. Watch out for that. I can't understand how Cerberus got loose. Cronus. Who else would it be? I agree. But even Hades has a hard time controlling Cerberus. Only cake and music can calm that savage beast. Cake? You're joking, right? Yes, yeah, Cerberus can't resist cake. It's often used to distract him. But the most effective thing is music. The music of the lyre. Uh, really? Yes, Orpheus, a great hero like yourselves, could play the lyre so beautifully that no man or beast could resist it. He once used it to calm Cerberus. But who plays the lyre these days? It's so lame. I do? Huh? huh? Oh, well that's good. No, that's great. Hold on. Many believe Orpheus's lyre was enchanted. To stand before Cerberus with any other lyre would be foolish. Well, where can we get Orpheus's lyre? In the Elysian Fields. Where's that? The Underworld. The Elysian Fields is the resting place for fallen heroes like Orpheus. The Underworld? 
But how can we get there? Simple. You must be a hero. <laughs> Got that covered. And you must be dead. That sucks. I've heard about secret passageways to the underworld. In a secret they will remain. You must find another way to contain Cerberus. I think I know a way. Well, we don't have many other options. If Teresa's right, we should have safe passage to the underworld. Whoa, whoa, hey, hang on a sec. Didn't you guys hear the part about people never coming back from the underworld? Don't worry about it, Neil. You're not going. Yeah, you're coming with us. We need to cage Cerberus. Odie, think you can come up with a way to do that? Of course. What is this? While I'm in the bathroom, you guys all of a sudden have a plan? You've been in there for hours. What happened? Catch your reflection in the mirror again? The mirror loves me. What can I say? We can't just leave Cerberus out there. It'll be okay. I know. I'm just worried about how Persephone will react. Let me get this straight. You want me to take you to the underworld to get Orpheus's liars so you can tame Cerberus before all the dogs turn against mankind. Yeah, that's pretty much it. What are you nuts? I'm not taking you there! It is not a place for mortals to enter! Even ones as brave as yourself. No. I'll be going to the underworld tonight. I'll ask Hades for help. He must know why Cerberus is loose. You should help your friends. They're going to need it. There. That's the last piece. Let's have the bait, Neil. This is crazy. But what's more whacked out? A dog with three heads? Or the fact that it likes cake? Here he comes. That's a good doggy. Got him! Go figure. He does like cake. Okay. That's not good. So, I'm gonna run away now, you know? Get a bit of a head start. If Odie's plan doesn't work, we're gonna need that liar. Persephone said she's going to the underworld tonight. There must be a safe entrance somewhere in the school. It's probably in her solarium. Quick, now's our chance. Excuse me. Sure, anytime, cutie. <laughs> Why does she come down here anyway? She's married to Hades. She spends half her time here, half on Earth. Let's do things my way this time. Atlanta, did you know violence is the first resort of a limited mind? I didn't know that. Me either. Nice. What's this? Ow! Ow! It's a stun baton. Let's bring that, too. They're getting closer to the edge of the forest. Trust me, Cerberus won't be going too far. What is that thing? It's an EMD. Electromuscular disruption. It completely overrides the nervous system. Causes all the muscles to contract. Nasty. Very. There. Piece of cake. Atlanta! Maybe you shouldn't have said cake. Let's go! I thought it was just cats that had nine lives. The 
This must be the grove that Persephone planted. It's beautiful. Hmm. And my parents always told me money didn't grow on trees. Persephone must have left this here. And I know why. Come on, let's hurry. Charon, the ferryman. Is this the only way across? Afraid so. Gah, you'll get the rest on the way back. No. This must be Cerberus's chain. Cronus did this for sure. Come on, guys, let's go. What's wrong? You weren't supposed to find me yet, but I do have such a hard time sitting still. Jay! Teresa, here's the deal. Bring me the liar, and I won't hurt your friends. Hurry, go get the liar. Why don't you two sit down, hmm? I offered her a deal that I wouldn't hurt you while she was gone. Don't make me break my promise. Elysian Fields. Orpheus? Who's there? Eurydice? My wife? Wife? Oh, darling. For thousands of years, I have waited to be with you again. Uh, this is creepy. <laughs> Hang on! I think you have me confused with someone else. Oh, <laughs> playing hard to get now, are you, my love? Oh, how I miss your silly games! <laughs> Stop it, mister! I need to ask you a favor. Ask of me anything, it is yours. I need to borrow your lyre. My friends and I are... Shh. I need not know the reason, my love. Oh, uh, okay then. Well, I guess I'll see you around. Bye! If this gets us out of the trouble we're in, I'll bring it back, okay? <laughs> in trouble? So, did you like my new pet, Cerberus? I guess he's not what you'd call a people dog. But when man's best friend becomes his worst nightmare, the world will be in the chaotic state I so enjoy. <laughs> Of course, the only way to control the beast is with the liar of that lovesick fool, Orpheus. Why didn't you just get the liar yourself? Well, there are people in there that don't like me very much. We don't like you very much either. Ah, about time. Come on, let's go. Oh, excuse me, Jay. Uh, y y we had a deal. Teresa, be a dear and... Give me the liar. Get in the boat and wait for us. This is very disappointing, Jay. We never had a deal, Cronus. Let's see what you can do without this. Let's not. Go! Save yourselves! And save my beloved. Beloved? What's with the beloved business? You're not jealous, are you, Jay? I hate this place. Neil, your turn. Got a plan? Yeah! Don't get in front of him! Me, not at the car. This is unbreakable rope, right? We'll soon find out.
dreams, Cerberus. Hades? Oh, poor puppy. Look at you. He's really more of an indoor dog. He shouldn't be out like this. He gets so excited. Thank you. I'm glad he's not hurt. Why don't I take that back for you? Sorry. I heard you made quite an impression on dear Orpheus. <laughs> Let's go home now, puppy. Uh, guys! What happened? Where's Cerberus? You didn't hit him with that, did you? No. Did you, uh, want me to? I'm glad to see you, too. Thank you, Harry. I was so worried about him. You're okay now, aren't you, boy? Fetch a stick? Oops. So where did you kids find him? Just out in the woods. Yeah, he must have caught the scent of a dead animal. Huh? More like an undead animal. 